Yeah. Hey guys, what up? Yeah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to talk about something a little bit different than what I normally talk about. I feel like this kind of still falls into like the health and beauty category a little bit. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my journey, what I've done, and uh, see if it might help anybody else out there who might be, you know, kind of looking for the same answers. So just a little bit of background. Um, I've had my cycle since I was about eight or nine years old. <laughs> so I've kind of had it for a really, really long time. And uh, when I first started having kind of, uh, you know, cramps and stuff like that, I would get them so, so bad where literally I would just like pass out or throw up or just, you know, be curled up in a ball. I know a lot of other women kind of experience the same kind of thing where it's like, you know, the second your period starts or even maybe a couple days beforehand, you're getting extreme cramps and you're curled up into a ball and you have to take like crazy painkillers in order to make the pain go away. So that was kind of what I went through uh, the first couple of years of my period. And then as I got older, um, you know, I kind of was able to kind of get a schedule down and figure out like, okay, if I take a painkiller like maybe a day or two before, you know, my cramps aren't as bad, um, but I was still having them. I was still having them the first and second day. They weren't as bad, uh, but they were definitely still there. I was definitely, you know, in pain and sluggish and really just hated the first two days of my cycle. Now let's kind of like fast forward a little bit to uh, my last few years of high school. As some of you guys know, uh, my mom started trying to transition us to kind of like slightly more organic food, mostly in the meats and uh, dairy kind of department. We started to kind of have less issues with our allergies. And so that kind of sparked in my mind like, hmm, okay, there must be something to this slightly more natural lifestyle. Not saying I, everything in my house and everything in my closet is natural, but it just kind of like sparked something in my head that was kind of like, okay, maybe I should try, you know, taking different things in and out of my diet, in and out of, you know, the products that I use. But in the past, I would say like, year or so one thing that i started doing was trying to look for um other menstrual products so other different types of pads and tampons and that sort of thing because i was just looking up more and more research about the chemicals that are in pads and tampons and um, how those were causing issues with women one thing that i noticed was when i was using tampons i was experiencing irritation i was experiencing fatigue i felt like my cramps were worse um, especially towards the end of my period because when you're still using tampons and you know you're not your flow is not you know moving um, you just experience so many more issues I was talking to other friends of mine and women and one thing that I noticed that was kind of like a strain throughout was a lot of us were experiencing either you know yeast problems or you know some people call it candida issues with using these tampons and stuff like that so I was like okay well let me kind of experiment so one thing that I did was I switched completely off tampons and switched just to pads and one thing that I noticed with just that, I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. It's It feels, you know, so inconvenient when my lifestyle is active. But honestly, like, I didn't really notice too much of a difference in my level of comfort. But I did notice a difference in my cramps. And I did notice a difference in just the overall health of my body. I noticed less irritation. I noticed um, less issues with my body even being balanced in its, you know, bacteria and candida levels. Just overall, my body just felt a lot more calm and less disturbed so I was like okay well you know maybe switching over to pads and everything or back to it because I was using that before maybe switching over to pads you know is kind of the key and then I started kind of researching more and more that companies you know were still putting different sorts of chemicals and stuff in pads and um, that in the US they don't have to release those to you they don't have to tell you what chemicals are in them and so I was like okay well if you think about it that's kind of the opening to your body and your body is trying to release, you know, your lining and, you know, blood and all that other stuff. So if that's an opening and I'm letting chemicals in that way, that might be kind of disrupting my body. So I kind of started tinkering around and started, you know, researching um, different types of organic pads, different types of all natural pads, ones that didn't have chemicals or ones that actually disclosed what specifically was in it. And most of the time, this is what I was finding that the ones that were labeled, you know, chemical free or um, natural, a lot of them, you know, they were using natural, actual like pulp and natural like lining, but the only thing that really had chemicals in it was the glue on the back that kind of helps stick it to, your, you know, your panties. So I was like, okay, you know, I, I can deal with that. Like, let me just check these out. I started looking up different products like um, Lola, this one here. I started looking up different companies like Bella Flora. Uh, this is another one. It's called L. It's uh, an Italian brand. I like these cool bags. Um, so I started really trying to test these out and seeing like, okay, if I switch to like organic or natural pads for one period and then go back to like using Tampax or whatever brand name else, 
try that for you know next month and then try to go back and forth so over the past I would say like four or five months or so I've been going back and forth and trying these different things out and seeing if they make a difference and one thing that I noticed was when I was using the organic or the natural pads that I either had slight cramps during just the first day and nothing for the rest of my period at all or I didn't have cramps at all so I would say that this kind of method could get rid of your cramps but there's certain times that where I did switch back to organic or natural pads where I did experience slight cramping in the first day like very very subtle but like honestly it was so tolerable it was so nice I just felt so comfortable and refreshed and this is another thing that I noticed I experienced way less irritation than I did when I used the brand name products that have all this junk in them so my body was less irritated um, I wasn't experiencing any like weird spikes in candida or anything like that and my cramps were extremely reduced so I was like okay maybe there's something to this but I had to switch back and forth to be able to tell so I went back to using tampon uh, so I went back to using you know those brand names last month I switched back for the second time I was experiencing cramps my body just felt uncomfortable I constantly felt irritable and irritated and um, I noticed I started kind of having like slight little spikes and was like hmm okay well let me Hmm. let me switch back again so this past time around I switched back to using you know natural and organic uh, pads again and I used um, these two brands the L and the Lola I had also uh, tried this one like uh, uh, previous months before and I really like this one as well and I noticed this past time I just finished um, mine like yesterday and I I only experienced a slight slight cramps for maybe about an hour or two at work I didn't need to take painkillers to make it through it honestly just felt like more more of a pressure more of like a bloating uncomfortability than like actual cramps and then the rest of it honestly it was just like I felt normal I just had you know cravings for ice cream and that was about it <laughs> so I would say you know if you're experiencing really really heavy heavy painful painful cramps really switch over test some of these brands out see what you like see what you don't like it's really interesting because I was talking to one of my friends online and she has kind of like a, a health and self-help blog and so we were kind of having a discussion on Facebook me her and one of her friends about you know transitioning to you know more sustainable uh, period products as well as using the organic Get organic pads and tampons and that sort of thing and they ended up having the same kind of similar findings that when they used kind of the brand name pads and stuff that had chemicals and everything in them that they were experiencing worse cramps as well and one of the things that she told me was that some of the chemicals that they use in those pads is actually meant to draw moisture out of the body um, to kind of like you know pull it to the very very interior of the core of the pad and at first that seems like it might be a good idea but if you think about it your body has a certain amount of moisture that it needs you know your internal areas that's what we're gonna call it, your internal areas have a certain balance of moisture that it kind of needs to stay at to be healthy and to be able to clean your body out and to be able to purify you know yourself from the inside out even when you're on your period you're having you know your lining and everything coming out but then your body also has secretions that it has to kind of keep your your balance on point and to keep you healthy so if the pad is is uh, made with all these chemicals to draw the moisture out of you you're gonna have some imbalance you're gonna have some irritability in that area it's gonna feel itchy or uncomfortable and you know with tampons and pads you know either or because they have those same kind of chemicals in them so um, I suggest that you guys really look into it really do your research as well um, these are just my personal findings that I found for me transitioning you know every other month going back and forth which was like uh, a hell of a process because I was like oh I just want to go back to my natural pads but I really wanted to try it out you know not just for you guys but for me as well to really make sure like okay I'm not crazy this is really what's happening and these like this is what my body's telling me about these products so there's plenty of amazing products out there if you're on a budget like don't worry if you guys want to see a review on the natural and organic you know pads and stuff let me know I can do one I've tried like four or five different brands any of you guys have ever experienced anything like that if any of you guys are just now transitioning to organic pads uh, tampons thinks underwear the diva cup you know whatever comment below let me know what you've tried let me know what you haven't tried um, let me know what your findings are I'm interested to see what you guys um, have to say as well like this video if you want to see more I'll be posting more as usual if you guys want to know more about these products let me know and I can do a video on that and I'll see you guys yeah. later bye yeah. Yeah. Yeah.